And so I went under here. There's our crankshaft position sensor right there. And you can see I've got my T-pin and the pink wire and my meter grabbed on. All right, okay. So let's just turn on the scope. We've got our negative to ground. Turn the scope on. We're just going to go to lab scope. And we're okay, now we're here. So we don't, you can see this is not perfect, but it's a good waveform so far. Let's go voltage. There we go. And see how it goes below. This is a good example of what we were talking about with ground position before. So let's hit our OK button. We're going to go to vertical. We're going to say ground position, and we're going to move our ground position up a little bit so we can see this waveform a little bit better. Okay, cool. Now we're going to scooch over. We're going to change our time scale. Okay, we're going to make this. This is great. This is fantastic. So you see what's happening is it's trying to put all this data on the screen, and it, it takes a while for it to buffer that and then show it. But what you can see is that we've got different spacing in here. So you see how this one has like two bumps and this one has one bump. 